The Big Show. Paul White has signed with AEW. Mm hmm. Well, tell us about it. So, um, his contract with WWE was coming due, and they were um, far apart on money. And I guess Tony Khan offered him better money than WWE, and uh, he signed. I don't know. You know, I mean, time will tell. I, I mean, it would not be my recommendation to be signing older guys from WWE. I mean, it, it's, 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 um, you know, it reminds me too much of what TNA did, and that was not a successful strategy. Now, that doesn't mean this in, individual signing will or won't be successful, and it depends on a lot of things. I mean, he's being signed primarily as an announcer, and, you know, that's a shot in the dark. I mean, he's a He's a good talker, he's a funny guy, and he may very well turn out to be a good announcer. So to say good, bad, or indifferent, and I don't know what the whole deal is, um, he, he may end up being real good at this, you know, him and Shivani. I mean, it's tough with AEW. I mean, like, when, and the one thing is, you remember when Excalibur wasn't there, it's like, boy, was it obvious. I mean, the thing with AEW is, is you've got all these young guys, and they're doing all these new moves and they come from all these different places and Excalibur is the guy who just is an encyclopedia on the air and gets all this stuff over and that's why Excalibur is so great on um, on the main show but even more like on dark where they're lesser known guys but he will find out who they are and find out their moves and and their backgrounds and all this and so they're going to start this new show on Monday um, in a couple weeks, the 15th, I think, of March. 7 p.m. Monday nights, AEW Dark. This, what's it called? Um, Evolution or something? Or Elevation. Elevation. Okay, so Elevation. So um, it's going to be Tony Schiavone and Big Show. So that they're going to have their hands full because it's new guys doing new moves with new backgrounds. And... Um, you you can't fake your way through it. You're gonna have to study. So I mean, any and look, they may be really good at this, and we'll see. But it's 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 tough announcing um, announcing for AEW is really tough because um, there's so many people and so many things that you got to get over, and it's not you know, and it's got to be good. You can't do the crappy WWE announcing, and a lot of guys watch so much crappy WWE announcing that they think that that's how it is, and you've got to be reprogrammed. I know one guy um, who I know who, um, you know, st started announcing, and he started, like, because that's all he saw. Um, not all he saw, but but a lot of what he saw was WWE announcing. He started announcing at WWE, and I go, like, this doesn't work outside of WWE. And just stop, stop doing this and start, like, being yourself. And he ended up, like, improving as soon as, he, as, soon as that happened. But it was just this pattern thing. Then you watch WWE. It's a real easy pattern to fall into. But you don't say anything. You don't get anything over. And it's just like this programmed robot shit. So um, hopefully, you know, he'll just like abandon all that. And he's never renounced there. So he may not have picked up those habits to begin with. So anyway, time will tell on this. But, um, you know, it's, it's not... Um, there's there's I, I feel that there's too many older guys on the television. It's like a few are OK, but I feel that there's too many. Um, you don't want it to feel like a product of older guys, um, you know, and and WWE cast offs. I mean, that's the worst thing that you could do. Now, he is not a cast off, but he had not been, you know, he's basically retired or, or you know, semi retired or whatever it was. He wasn't being booked anymore. Um, now, as far as the gimmick where the announcer gets in a feud, that stuff works almost all the time. So as far as shooting an angle and him coming back for a match here and there, if it's done right, I mean, that's good. That could be real good. And he's a name, you know, so it's fine. But I just, um, you know, I don't want to see, and they, and they probably won't do this, but the one thing I don't want to see is a show that revolves around too many guys from the past taking up too much time and also getting in the way of the ascension of the younger guys because the past guys may it's like they're like a crutch it's like they're familiar 
and there will be people who will watch out of nostalgia for them for a little while and everything but to um to you know build up a new audience and everything like that it's about getting new people over which is extremely hard it's almost impossible now so um you know maybe maybe this is like uh you know kind of like a thing to see like you know it's another another guy who's familiar and short term short term a guy who's familiar is going to be a lot more effective than a guy that's on the way up and with no crowds it is hard as hell to get these guys on the way up over but you know eventually it has to be done so um there's you know um it's it's an interesting one i don't know what kind of uh, money figures obviously it's more than wb offered and you know there could be other aspects of it as well but um you know wb's got a lot of money to keep guys like this from going so it's it's a very interesting move we don't see a lot of the, this now we did before and uh, i mean the one thing is is that um Everyone whose deal is up, I mean, it's great for them because you got two sides to talk to. And, you know, so, I mean, as far as Big Show goes, I'm sure that, uh, you know, he made the right call for Big Show. And it, it could be it could be a plus for the short term. You know, I mean, people are talking about it and and everything. So um, hopefully he does real well as an announcer and they can do their angles. But I just don't I just. You know, the other problem with Big Show is he's so damn big that um, you just I just don't want to see him around Lance Archer or Wardlow or, you know, guys What like he needs that. to be is Andre the Giant, a yeah. rarely used... Oh, uh, I mean, you, well, it's got to be the right feud with the right guy, um, with the right story. But yeah, rare, rarely used for in the ring, but he's going to be an announcer every week. So the problem is, you know, he's got to sit in that chair and be an announcer and get over by being funny and being a good announcer. I, I, you know, you don't want him running in on people. You don't want him, um, you know, standing in the ring. Well, I mean, I'm sure he won't be the guy. That's where Tony will be. Tony will be the guy doing the interviews because the worst thing you could do is have him stand next to Wardlow and all of a sudden it's like, fuck, that's Wardlow's whole gimmick is blown. You know what I mean? When, well, I mean, he should do, he should hold the mic for Marco Stunt. Marco Stunt and him, absolutely. Absolutely, of course. Yeah, that would that would that's a good and he could he could team with Marco Stunt. You know, as far as that goes, I mean, him running in to save Marco Stunt and doing a a tag team match against you know FTR or or, or probably not even FTR, probably like a a more of a middle range team. Um, you could do that on TV, but I mean, I guess if you want to do something that like takes advantage of him, maybe it, it would have to be. Maybe it would have to be FTR because you you want to get the good match and you don't want to. Um, I mean, it's like if he's going to come out and do the angle. I mean, it's like you really don't want to do it on like mid level guys because then it's just like a nothing. It's got to be on top guys and it's got to be top guys who can really uh, cover for everything. So maybe they are the guys. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, no. Him and Marco Stun is a tag team. That'll work for sure. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.